Jack. You forgot your cellular oh. phone. Thanks. Hey, thanks. you can't leave that thanks, later Jack. on. Thanks. You want people calling Antarctica or something? Hey. This is Terry's. Man. I don't know. Do it. Are we? It's time to reach out and touch a couple of dozen people. No, he's my friend. He's not your friend. He's a quarterback. Now do what you were trained to do. Punish him. Wait. JB? Forget him. The area code for Honolulu is... Hold it, Ronnie. What has Terry ever done to you? You were a raider. Ever heard of the Immaculate Reception? Oh, big deal. Two seasons. You're really a 49er. And I guess you haven't heard about Terry bragging about his four Super Bowl Steelers being able to whip your 49ers butts. Just put the phone down, Ronnie. Zip it, Halo Head. Make me. Let's see if those wings really work. Terry, would never do that to you! Yes, no. Come on, let's do some dialogue. No, JB is right. You coward. Sissy. Man, where's my phone? Uh -oh. Would you see if Mr. Yeltsin can come to the phone, please? He's quite important. Yes, oh yes, it's very important. Hey, hey, listen, listen. Ask him if his refrigerator's running. <laughs> Please allow me to introduce myself. Okay, man, open up doors, because I can't wait and see what's going to happen in week number three. It's the NFL on Fox. The Vikes are on a mission to hunt some bear in Chi-Town. Robert's running wild, and Chris is catching crazy. But the bears are stalking a win, and the other Robert is greedy for green. It's a leap of faith for the Lions today in Philly as they hope to avenge last year's wild card crash. Barry's unstoppable as his power continues to surge, but the Eagles are rolling with waters and hope to get quick teeth of love, baby. The cards pursue the Patriots for a Foxborough fight. Frankly, Mr. Sanders is good with his hands. Larry C. is definitely catching on. But the Patriots say courtesy comes on the field. Big Ben delivers on time, all the time. The Saintly boys are tracking some cool cats in Cincy. Jeffries knows how to get it done, but for the Bengals, this Carl P. fakes them out of their blue suede shoes. The Skins and Giants clash in Jersey. For Allen, the beat goes on. But the Giants' brown chews up the skins. He's 4-0 against them. But Rodney says, give me that ball. Get out of my way. Now live from the Fox Television Center in Hollywood, four guys who really do try and listen to that voice of reason. Yeah, the one and only Fox NFL Sunday. Week number three in the NFL, and expect some fireworks today in Philadelphia. It's a rematch of last year's wild, wild card playoff game between the Eagles and Lions. We'll also feature a critical NFC Central battle between the Bears and the undefeated Vikings. And it's all coming your way right here today on Fox. And hello, everyone. I'm James Brown, welcoming you to Fox NFL Sunday with my partners at hand, Terry, Howie, and Ronnie. I got a couple questions for Ronnie. Which team are you most identified with? 49ers. How many Super Bowl rings did you win? I won four. Do you know they did not let him in the locker room up in 49ers practice this week? <laughs> Listen, Mike White with the Raiders is mad at him. He can't get back to the 49ers. The longer he does his show, he'll have no friends out there eventually. He's going to have to learn to like me and the big guy here. You know what? Well, and besides that, I know right now when he goes into the Hall of Fame, it's going to be wearing the green and white of the New York Jets. Jets. <laughs> They're gonna See throw there? That's They're what gonna, it's they're like. Gonna, they're going to throw him a ticker tape parade over in El Segundo. I talked to Mike White. He loves you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, guys. Terry is calling around <laughs> telling folks not to talk to him already. All right, folks, here's a look at what's happening around the National Football League. When Cowboys owner Jerry Jones revealed that he would not automatically add another season to Coach Barry Switzer's contract, NFL speculators and Cowboy insiders immediately began forming a replacement list should Switzer and Jones decide to part company at season's end. Now, it's an unusual list because Jones won't be looking for a Jimmy Johnson type, and top Cowboys like quarterback Troy Aikman might have some input. Now, the names include Giants head coach Dan Reeves, himself a former Dallas player and assistant, Notre Dame head coach Lou Holtz, a close acquaintance of Jones, that going back to their Arkansas days, and two current Cowboy assistants, offensive line coach Hudson Houck, he's a Jones favorite, and special teams coach Joe Avizano, 
who's considered to be a player favorite. All right, folks, time now for our Fox Watch. And revenge, I'm sure, is uppermost in the collective mind of the Detroit Lions today as they head back to Veteran Stadium, site of last season's 58-37 wild card spanking by the Eagles. And we begin our Fox Watch in Philadelphia, where Dick Stockton and Matt Millen will be calling the game. And hello, gentlemen. And hello, JB. And you're absolutely right. The Lions are returning to the scene of the crime of that wild card route last year. But their concern right now is a sputtering attack. And despite the fact that Barry Sanders leads the NFL in rushing, where have all the weapons gone? And there's no question that uh, Herman Moore... 20 catches, but look at the rest, including Johnny Morton with only one catch, and he vocally says he wants the ball more. As far as Ray Rhodes and the Eagles are concerned, he says they were embarrassed, obviously, Monday night in losing to Green Bay. He's made a couple of lineup changes today, both involving rookies. Two number two draft picks. Jason Dunn will start at tight end, and Brian Dawkins will be at defensive back. And Rhodes told us that the Eagles have not played well, really, in the last six quarters. And for this aggressive team, they have yet to force a turnover so far this year. Right now, let's go to Chicago, a little bit west of here, and Mike Green at Soldier's Field. Thank you, Dick Stockton. An overcast, cold afternoon at Soldier Field in Chicago, where the Bears will host the Vikings. From Minnesota, they get their starting quarterback back in the lineup. Warren Moon returns. Now, he injured himself in the second quarter of Week 1 against Detroit, sprained an ankle on one foot, injured an arch on another. He didn't play anymore in that game, didn't play last week against Atlanta, but practiced this week and will start. However, Moon told us yesterday he's only about 80%. They're going to heavily tape up his ankle, something he's never had in his career. Also, orthotics will be inserted in his shoe and he says that's very uncomfortable so he's not going to know really until he gets out on the field and gets those snaps going to see about his mobility and escapability so although moon is starting he's still a question mark now let's go to kevin harlan in foxborough all right mike thank you very much the cardinals and patriots both looking for their first win 74 degrees sunny skies a perfect day for football and i'm with jerry glanville and jerry bill parcells told us friday something that just absolutely shocked you this is the third week, third week of the season, and the head coach of the Patriots looked me in the eye and he said, Jer, this is it. Those three words, this is it. This is our season. We win this one, we'll go on and be good. We lose this one, our season is over. He then went in the locker room and told every player, this is it. Arizona losing last week to Jimmy Johnson's Miami Dolphins. Today, we'll start Boomer Esiason, who was yanked at halftime last week. Right now to Riverfront Stadium, Cincinnati and Kenny Albert. All right, thanks, Kevin. Two winless teams, the New Orleans Saints and the Cincinnati Bengals match up today here at Synergy Field. And the big problem with the Bengals so far through the first two weeks has been the running game. Kajana Carter, first overall pick a year ago, who missed last season, has looked tentative. He has not hit his holes, and he has been upset that he's sharing the backfield with Garrison Hurst. Only 27 yards over the first two weeks. In fact, after last week's loss to the Chargers, Carter said, I thought I'm the feature back. I don't know what the coaches are thinking. Well, Carter met privately with head coach David Shula this week. Shula said he's just got to do his job. Offensive coordinator Bruce Coslett a bit testy. Coslett said that Kajana Carter has to make us, the coaches, want to leave him in the ballgame, and they will not hesitate to go with Hurst today should Carter be ineffective. Now let's head back to Hollywood and James Brown. All right, Kenny, and those of you not getting an early game will see Terry Allen and the Washington Redskins trying to overcome their recent 0-6 mark against the New York Giants. That in an NFC East battle. That game will come your way at 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 Pacific, right here on Fox. And how as we talk about the Redskins-Giants, Redskins have lost 13 of the last 16 against the Giants. What's necessary to change that? Two teams heading in two different directions. I think the Washington Redskins are heading in the right direction. North Turner met with Jack Kent Cook this week. He got his vote of confidence. I think if the, this is a pivotal game for the Redskins. They could go 5-1 and one, they win this game. But if I say seven sacks in two games, if I say eight turnovers in two games, if I say a quarterback who's 45 for seven, 70, and 632 yards and four touchdowns and no interceptions, I'm talking about Dave Brown. That's right. Dave Brown of the New York Giants. And the Giants today, ha, the candles are there. The Giants with a great quarterbacking. They win this game. I say, Cajun. I say, Cajun. I'm Look, back. Both I'm these guys absolutely back. have been hit far too much. <laughs> The late game here on Fox Today, Washington Redskins looking to break a six-game losing streak against the New York Giants. That'll be coming your way at 4 Eastern, 1 Pacific. All right, so uh, the New York Giants, wow, they've got Washington's number, Ronnie. That's true, and I like the fact that when they go against these guys, they're tied in. 
Howard Cross has a big day against these guys. Jacques Cousteau couldn't find the Giants' offense right now. I'm telling you, it's <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> Can I, can I get on put my, him in down and brown. I'm going to get on my back and start swimming because the Giants are going to win today. Ooh. Ooh. Washington will have to improve on his third down conversion. Worse than the league at 20%. All right, folks, coming up later today on Fox, it will be the Washington Redskins at the New York Giants. And as we come back inside to say goodbye from the floral arrangement here known as Fox NFL Sunday, we'll see you later. Big <laughs> <laughs> Home of Super Bowl 31. 60 minutes, baby. 60 minutes, all three. One, two, three. 60 minutes.